Carlos. Hello, I'm Ardarion, and today I want to show my newest creation, which is color blocks in vanilla Minecraft. And in one command also, the, for the first time I've actually made a one command thing. Huh. Um, so let me show you the color blocks. Here they are, in all, all of their 16 shade glory. Um, you might be thinking that, well, I've seen those, right? Those are falling sand colored color glass entities. And you are right, but what is special about them is that they are solid. You can actually walk on them and they act le just like a normal block. You can stack them up, you can build stuff from them, and it's really easy. Uh, so uh, first I'm gonna demonstrate what you can make with them, and then I'm gonna show you how to set up that one command thing. So uh, after you've set up the one command, you're gonna get this comments book. And inside this book, you have all the different colors. Uh, you can, oh, Okay, uh, you can get. Uh, so let's pick a color. Let's pick a light blue. And we get this light blue color block. And you just place this, place this wherever you want. Bam, just like that. It's really simple and it works just fine. Uh, let's pick another block. Um, green. Boop, boop, boop. It's really easy, okay, and you can like surround them and create patterns. Let's get another like yellow. Boom, boom. It's really cool. Um, you may notice that I cannot place them directly on top of each other. And that is because the falling sand, um, they have little to big hitboxes. And that is quite a big of an issue because it, that means that I can't actually place anything on, on any of their sides, but we can um, we can use a very simple trick. Let's just pick another color, say orange, and use a wall to set up stuff on the wall. And it works just fine. And yeah, now you can just build stuff on the wall. And you can also build stuff on the ceiling just like that, basically on any other block uh, different from the color blocks. And if you want to build like walls, uh, all you do is you use the trick used in placing uh, fence gates. So if you just grab a fence gate, you can't put directly one, it didn't say anything. Oh, you, you can't put them on like walls like that. And so you have to, kind of put them like that and then destroy a layer and then continue doing that. Uh, so you have to do the same thing with the color blocks. Let's get another color, let's say white. Uh, we just place three of those, destroy this layer and you can see those little colorful, colorful, eh, colorful particles come out, which is pretty cool. So uh, you may wonder how, how much does it lag? Well, actually not that much. Um, it only starts lagging when I fill this entire area, or I think it's 18 by 18 with those color blocks. Because uh, each one of those color blocks is two entities. So you can do the math and yeah, this is a lot of entities on this wall. Um, now for what you may actually use this for, uh, for building, for example, you can see that if I grab a spruce log, make a little thing here really quick, that, for example, a brown thing fits the log and it's like a new block in the game. And that is pretty cool in my opinion that we can just add 16 new blocks to the game. And then second and cooler thing in my opinion is hiding lighting. As you can see, we can block off this light and we still get light in the tunnel, even though this seems like a solid block. And that is because we have lanterns behind the color blocks. They let, uh, let light go through. Um, so yeah, and now 
how do you get rid of them. That is a bit more complicated, you have to use a kill command for the armor stands and then punch out the barrier blocks. Uh, so yeah, I recommend not deleting them or something. Uh, so yeah, they are pretty cool, really easy to use, really fun to use. Uh, I've already made a couple of pictures, I can show you right now. Uh, yeah, they are amazing, I know. And uh, yeah, let me show you how to set up the command for yourself. Here we are in a brand new world. Uh, let me just do a couple of game rules, like... Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. It's just a temporary word. So you wanna uh, give yourself a command block and a redstone block, then uh, place the command block and put the command from the description into the command block. Uh, is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Now a little bit of leg spike and you just place a redstone block and you're good to go. Let's just observe it assemble. It's really fun. Okay, so we have my machine. Uh, I'm not used to building those so there is no like fancy stuff like colored glass or uh, a fancy message that a machine was assembled. I, I'm getting into that slowly, guys. Don't worry. Uh, so I got this command book we know from the previous uh, showcase, and it works just fine. With two issues, I don't get the particles. The command for the commands for the particles are there, are there inside, but they require very precise timing, and the huge chunk here I think doesn't support precise timing because I can't get uh, for the particles to display which is a shame because I really like those particles but I guess one command block has its limits or whatever I can't find those hmm where are they okay whatever and also um, I'm using squids to summon the, com the summon the color block and they are uh, dropping their insects, so you want to you want to do uh, do mob loot false, uh, or just don't worry about the insects. Uh, false. Yes. Um, let me just quickly go through how it works. Uh, when I summon, when I place the uh, spawn egg, it I spawn a squid because this is obviously a, a squid. Spawn egg just enchanted and named blue color, color block, and then a command block tests for a, a squid called blue color block. It executes a, and summons an item frame on the side. You can see it appear, and that is to line up the uh, blocks. Because if I use just the relative commands to the squid, the uh, blocks wouldn't be like in line with other blocks. And using this trick, we can uh, do really good looking um, blocks that are in line. Um, now, after that, it summons a special uh, armor stand called uh, accordingly to the color. So here we have a blue armor stand, here we have a red armor stand, and so on. And yeah, uh, this clock just continuously summons falling sand, colored glass entities to that specific uh, armor stand. So if we just go to game mode 3, we can see all those armor stands here. Uh, so yeah, I think that is really, really cool, even though it would be kind of hard to find a good uh, good use to that, I guess. Apart from that uh, hiding lighting, that hiding lighting thing was really awesome. Uh, but other than that, it might be pretty hard. But anyways, I think this is really, really cool. Uh, a really cool invention, even though it has no use, particularly. Um, so yeah, hope you liked it, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.